Well, good morning, everyone, and Merry Christmas. I'm so glad you all can join me this morning to celebrate today. First off, I want to show you this really, this is so cool. Rain, one of our followers and a friend, sent us a Christmas card from Hawaii, <laughs> which ironically says, for warm winter wishing, wishes. That's it, warm winter wishes. <laughs> And inside, she gave us both a bookmark and these are so cool. I like uh stay wild moon child and I like uh they come with these little metal oh let me show you. This is my favorite of them. Shows a moon and a star. Really cool. But I like I like the the metal piece charm on the on the other bookmarks. I might switch them. <laughs> but I love to read, so this this will come in handy. Normally, I, I use whatever I can find, an old an old envelope or whatever to mark my book. So I can really use this. Thank you, Rain. That was so sweet of you. Oh, well. I'll just set that aside. I won't try fighting it to put it back in. So have you all had a chance to see the video I put out last night? Um, the Philippi Bridge, a bridge over troubled water. That, I am so proud of that video. For a lot of reasons. There's a lot going on there. I told Albert the song I'd like to play because it just reminded me of the whole situation. And uh, he told me, he, he was like, that's a funeral song. And it really upset him. He said, no, no. He said, you put that on that video, I'm not going to watch it. So I had to make the video in a way that I was like, make sure this does not appear like a a funeral, you know, at all, and uh, Albert liked it. He played it over and over several times just because he enjoyed it so much and the music and stuff. So hopefully now he won't see that as a funeral song anymore. It is a very pretty song. It is just a shame that it's, it is used for just really sad purposes like that. Because I see hope in that song. And I know, I know the, the song's going to get a, a copyright thing, but uh, that's okay. I let, let the monies go back to the people that did the song. songs. I should make plural. You know, I don't care. I don't mind. Although I'm not making any money off them anyway right now at this point, but... Yeah, I don't mind. I just knew what song I had to play and how, you know, I, I needed to do this video. And once I had that plan in my head, I needed to work that out and do it the way the little clockwork in my head was saying to do. <laughs> and I hope you all might think maybe that uh, I am getting better with the videos I'm putting out now. I'm trying, but as always, I, I like to give it my own little creative little spin to it. Okay, I've got two uh, two things of bad news today. One is I'm not going to do a tarot reading today. But don't lose faith. 
don't lose faith in me because I have, uh, I just felt like today I'm going to do runes. And I was going to pull a, a card from my uh, shamanic healing deck. Because I just feel like after this year, we can all use a little healing and stuff. I'll save the, the, the tarot for every ordinary day. But today, I just wanted to give people a little uplift and a little hope. And hopefully, the runes will bring that. Not that they can't be bad, because sometimes they can. But uh, we'll, we'll see what the runes have to say. It just seemed like a Rooney kind of day. And my other bit of bad news is there won't be a second segment on this show today. But soon after I release this, I'll be dropping another video that I did for today. So consider that kind of like a second segment to this one. And it's not what I wanted to bring you for Christmas. But I did the best that I could. We tried to take you someplace, and the lines were outrageous. So we're going to wait till after Christmas, and then I'll hopefully get in and be able to do some filming. But I won't tell you where it's at. Some of you might be able to guess. We're just going to hold off till right after Christmas. So be prepared. I hope everyone's having a, a merry little Christmas. But today I'm not going to light the candles because I got my, my Santa skull up there. And I don't want to catch stuff on fire. That's not a good way to uh, start off Christmas Day with. And then I have to go in there and I've got cookies to bake. I'm making Santa's whiskers cookies. They've got cherry and coconut in them really good and then i'm uh making dinner i'm having ham and all sorts of good stuff in there sweet potatoes and potatoes i'm cooking in the ham because i love potatoes cooked in ham broth that is so good and i'm not sure what else i'm making I have several ideas in, in mind. But uh, anyway, let's get to this pulling. Oh, and I'm going to do a pulling, a special pulling today. For every, anyone that watched, um, let me see. Uh, watched and left a message on... Uh, let's make it the uh, the video I released last night, the last one, the Philippi Bridge video. We had four comments on that, or four people commenting, I should say. So let's see what we get. This is for everyone. Oh, and it came up on its side. Uh, I'm sorry to say it's reversed, so it's going to mean disappointment from a broken trust, uncertainties of life and free will, um, deep mystery going on. But yeah, mostly... You're going to be disappointed, uh, I'm sorry, from uh, from somebody breaking your trust in some way. So let me see who uh, left comments on that video. I remember a couple... Um, okay, this is for Sherry Knotts. Let's give her this one. All right, Sherry. That's the gaz. And it means um, 
a stability between opposites, such as light and dark. It can stop harmful energy from getting to you, but at the same time allows the good energy to slip through so you can make good use of it. It means healthy growth, prosperity, and hope. Just what you need for Christmas, Sherry. Uh, I wish everyone else had gotten this rune instead. It shows a time of peaceful gains and portends to a period of increase even in a negative cast, and it's positive, so you don't have a negative one here. But it shows you that a new day will dawn. That's the big thing about it. So that was your reading, Sherry. Next up, um, and I have a little trouble with this name. Uh, is it Jacques? Jacques? Jacque Evelyn. I'm hoping that's what it is. Jacque Evelyn. Or maybe it's Jacques. But uh, yeah, here's one for you. Oh, yours is upside down. That rune is Awaz. Okay, and being upside down doesn't really change the meaning of this. Okay, this rune reminds us that in order for success, there must be a natural flow in a task at hand. With this rune to give us power as well as make, with this rune to give us power as well as making use of our good intentions, we can surely achieve with such success. It's the movement of the dwelling place, such as a relocation of home or even work. It signifies change, but a change for the better. The type of change that is the results of planning and effort, uh, perhaps of a gradual type nature. Uh, and it can point to common sense advice that will aid you in troubles. So, yes, that was a good one for you. I love reading the good ones. Next up, we have Thomas. Let's see what Thomas is. is. Okay. Thomas has Cabo. And Gabo represents the honor and connection that is created between people when they exchange gifts. Today is the appropriate day for that. The connection and honor is similar to that connection and honor that a person has with the gods for giving them life. Oh, deep meaning gifts, apparently you're giving. But it, yeah, it's honor and the connection between people when they give and receive gifts. It uh, symbolizes the best gifts in life and is almost always indicative of a blessing you will receive. It indicates some type of partnership, maybe even a marriage proposal. Ooh, Thomas. <laughs> Sometimes Gabo can indicate this issue is of an emotional nature. So very upbeat and happy room there, Thomas. So... Yeehaw. And the last one up is for, oh, Kim Fitzgerald. Actually, I got her out of order. Sorry, Kim. But Kim Fitzgerald gets one, too. All right. This is for Kim. Come on, Kim. Hope you get another, another good one here. I'm on a roll. Yes, well, you got Hagalaz. This represents a hailstone. We can expect time and situations to be constricting. Um, but much like a hailstone, it will eventually turn to water, which flows smoothly. These situations and time will eventually flow smoothly for us. And what it's saying is hard times will eventually run smooth. 
it represents forces outside of your control um, it is one of the primary runes for delays and limitations as well as a symbol of disruption it can turn up for someone considering taking some kind kind of risk too I guess your risk might pay off. So, yeah, a lot of these are saying bad times are going to become better. But all right, there you all go. And thanks for leaving those comments. And like I tell folks, you never know when I'm going to pick one of my videos to uh, do readings on the people that left comments. So... If you leave a comment, you'll be automatically drawn for a reading if I pick that that video. And it's hard to tell what video I might pick. I might pick this video for tomorrow. Who knows? Or I might pick another one. Or I might not even do one tomorrow. It's so hard to tell. It looks like my cards are a mess. I just need to, I'm shuffling and just, hold on. Okay, this is more like it's, I had them upside down. <laughs> you can't fool me because I'm an idiot. But yes, toward noon, I expect to be uh, dropping that uh, second video for the day. So keep an eye out. You might enjoy it. I hope you do. Okay, you have Reunion of Souls. And that card looks like that. Reunion of Souls. There's a school of thought that says before our souls come to earth, we make contacts or agreements with other souls. At one point in time, we appear in each other's lives to assist those involved in learning a lesson, being a catalyst for a needed change, or to share in profound joy. When a person comes into your life to teach you a lesson, no matter the human form, no matter the human experience, disagreement is based in love. The human experience may have been painful and extremely challenging. Acknowledge the depth of love needed for this contact to take place, then let them go. The experience may have been profoundly moving, but ended abruptly and without reason. Again, be grateful and move on. Cherish the lessons and move forward into your life the way it was meant to be. Alternatively, this card signifies a profound soulmate relationship, whether it be between lovers, friends, or parents and children. Cherish the gift given. And there it's talking about gifts again. So there you have it. There is a special theme going on here, and that's it seems to be given gifts and things of that nature in a lot of them. Okay, here I want to show you. Now, the paper white narcissists are really doing good. So I took them out of the back window where they were, which where they said the best place to put them at, and... Although it's not Christmas, it does have a bloom on it. Should be blooming by New Year's. And I've never had this before. Um, this is an oleander tree. And it's blooming. I mean, it's going to seed. I've never had one go to seed before. So I'm going to try collecting seeds. There's another one. Too. Wow. So cool. I'm going to save the seeds and try to uh, plant some babies. Who knows? I might have some baby oleanders coming. But yeah, I want to show you the paper whites. Yeehaw.
And while we're at it, there's the Weeping Willow bonsai. And there's the kitty <laughs> being nosy. That, get out of there. No, no, no. That's not for you. So there you have it. Like I said, be watching for that second video coming out today. Um, peace. Believe. And have a very Merry Christmas. A blessed Christmas to everybody. Bye-bye. Peace. I'm a sick and twisted individual. And proud of it. <laughs>